now a road closure in downtown Tampa that you need to know about before you head out for work today. A post portion, excuse me, a portion of Broad Green Street is now permanently closed. Amanda Shavari live out there this morning to show us how it's going to be impacting commuters. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Marco. These changes are what the Water Street Tampa project is bringing to downtown growing pains, if you will. So here's what drivers need to know right now. A portion of Broreen Street near Channel Side Drive and Nebraska Avenue is closed. This is permanent. These closures come as crews work to realign the road and take a look at this animation. This is what the roads will look like after this is all said and done. Again, this is all part of that Water Street project. Just last week, there was a groundbreaking on the JW Marriott, which the mayor says marks the start of downtown's next chapter. Water Street Tampa project will not only bring hotels, but places for people to live, work and play right here in downtown. The mayor says to put it simply, this project will bring an entire neighborhood right here. This time next year, you're probably going to see 15 tower cranes on this site. You think about what's happening on the west side of the Hillsborough River. You think about Ebor. You think about the potential for a baseball stadium. You think about the porch redevelopment efforts. Think about the neighborhoods all around downtown that are coming to life. This is a different city. So now portion of Broreen Street is closed permanently to drivers, but there are other streets around this project that are also closed temporarily as they work to realign the roads here. Many of those roads will actually be off limit to drivers until at least September. So right now on WFLA.com, we have a full breakdown of all those details so the drivers don't have any kind of headaches as they head off to work or through downtown here for the lightning game tonight. And we know that Leslie Lacey will be keeping us up to date on everything we need to know coming up in traffic on the 8th. We'll have to see how that how that goes tonight during the lightning game with all the crowds out there.